Hello, I am Dr. Vivek Sukumar, Consultant Surgical Oncologist working at the Specialty Surgical Oncology Hospital and Research Center. I specialize in GI Oncology with a special interest in colorectal oncology. Today we are going to discuss about what a biopsy test means. A biopsy test is an integral part of the treatment of cancer. What does a biopsy test or a biopsy procedure entail? It means we take a part of the cancer either via a needle or directly using a knife and a biopsy and subject that to specific tests. And these tests help us to determine a number of things. Firstly, whether it's a cancer or not. Second, what type of cancer it is. Third, after we determine the type of cancer, we can determine the grade of the tumor. And fourth, we can also de determine if this cancer has any other components with which we can direct our treatment modalities. So how is a biopsy obtained? As I mentioned earlier, it can be obtained via a needle or directly using a surgical procedure. This would depend on the site of the tumor or the cancer. An example of a biopsy in a patient having a blood cancer would be a bone marrow aspiration, where the bone marrow is subjected to multiple tests to determine the stage of the disease and also the type of the tumor. Whereas if you do think of a certain cancer such as a colon cancer, the biopsy is not obtained through a needle via the skin, rather it is obtained through an endoscope called as a colonoscope. What are the modalities through which a biopsy is obtained? It can either be a needle biopsy, which is through a puncture on the skin. It can be a true cut biopsy, where we get a larger chunk of tissue, which is once again performed through the skin. A third modality is via endoscopes. Supposing the tumor is deep down in the lungs or in the breathing pipe or upper abdomen, that is whether it is in the esophagus or in the stomach or in the lower part, that is in the rectum or the colon, all of these areas are, as, are accessed using endoscopes and the biopsy is taken via these endoscopes. Another way of obtaining a biopsy can be via imaging. That is, if the tissue is deep in the abdomen or in the chest, we can use CT guided biopsies or ultrasound guided biopsies to help obtain tissue to get our diagnosis. So once we get a biopsy tissue, what do we do with it? First, we can get something called as a frozen section where we get an immediate result on what the type of tissue might be. This is ideally done in an intraoperative or within a surgical setting. Whereas if we want a definitive diagnosis prior to starting treatment, we generally subject to a detailed histopathological examination. The process takes about 48 hours for the tissue to get embedded and processed before we can actually visualize and comment on them. This is done by specialist pathologist. And occasionally we require something called as immunohistochemical tests, which help determine the type of tumor. After the biopsy is obtained, generally treatment is initiated and the treatment may be either chemotherapy or surgery depending on the stage of the tumor. It is important to note that a biopsy may not help us determine the stage but helps us get the diagnosis. For a staging, we require imaging modalities such as CT and an MRI to get an adequate staging and occasionally a PET scan is also used to see if there are spread of disease in other organs. If you have any comments or points to point out on this video, please do mention in the comment box below. Thank you.